Chapter 4.9, Fractions and Decimals. You have two vocab words for this lesson. Uh, they are very imp important that you understand the difference between the two, not necessarily for this lesson, though you will be seeing them, but also for future mathematics. So uh, the two are terminating decimal and repeating decimal. You will find those at the bottom of page 198 in your book. Please make sure you have those copied into your math notebook before continuing on to example one. So example one, write 225 thousandths as a fraction. You always have to write fractions in the simplest form, even though I didn't note that. So the first uh, step is to convert a, frac a decimal into a fraction. So decimals are always out of a tenth, a hundredth, or a thousandth. So the number of the decimal that I have, 225, that becomes my numerator. I have 225 thousandths. That thousandths tells me that I should have a 1,000 in my denominator. Now, this is not simplest form. The greatest common factor of both of these happens to be 25. Divide both the numerator and denominator by 25, and we are left with 9 fortieths. Okay, so this tells us that 225 thousandths is the same as or equivalent to 9 fortieths, just written in a different form. If you're having trouble figuring out what your denominator needs to be, Remember your place values. If you have two tenths, a ten is in your denominator. Two hundredths or twenty-two hundredths, a hundred is in your denominator. Two hundred twenty-five thousandths, that thousand is in your denominator. So make sure you pay careful attention to that place value. All right, example two. A construction worker wants to drill a hole that is no more than six tenths of an inch in diameter. Can she use a five eighths inch drill bit? Five eighths inch drill bit. Well, no more than 0.6 inches, but she only has a five eighths inch drill bit. We can't compare the two because they are not the same. So the easiest thing to do is to take this five eighths and convert it into a decimal. Remember that there are three forms of division. We see division using this symbol, we see division using this symbol, and we also see division as a fraction. So 5 eighths is the same as 5 divided by 8, or 5 divided by 8, or 5 divided by 8. Notice the numerator is my dividend. It goes inside the division sign. The denominator is my divisor. So if we have 5 divided by 8, 8 does not go into 5 so I need to add a decimal with a 0 behind it because I can add as many zeros behind my decimal as I want to. Just don't forget that decimal and take it straight up into your answer. Well, 8 goes into 50 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. Bring down. 8 goes into 20 twice. And I can stop right there because 5 eighths is 0.62 if we actually continue this. zero. Five eighths is 0.625 inches. Well, 0.625 is larger than 0.6. So no, she cannot use a 5 eighths inch drill bit. It will be too large. So make sure you convert those fractions. The main one to remember is that your numerator goes inside the division symbol. It is your dividend. Your denominator 
goes outside. It is your divisor. Okay, example three. Order from least to greatest. One and six tenths, one and three fifteenths, nine tenths, and two and two ninths. Well, two of these are going to be fairly obvious. This one is less than one. This one is greater than one. So they're going to go first. Um, let's use dark blue, sure. So this will be my answer. 0 0.9 will be first. Then I'll have another number. And then I will end with 2 and 2 ninths. Now, I need to compare 1 and 6 tenths and 1 and 3 fifteenths to figure out which is going to be the largest. So, in order to do that, I need to convert these into either both into fractions with same denominators or both into decimals. I'm going to use this 3 fifteenths because 3 fifteenths reduces to one-fifth. One-fifth, multiplying it by 20, is the same as 20 one-hundredths or two-tenths. So one and three-fifteenths is the same as 1.2. Well, 1.2 is smaller than 1.6, so 1.2 would be next, except that you're going to write it as the actual original problem. So 1 and 3 fifteenths, and then 1.6. So you need to make sure that when you're comparing decimals and fractions, that you compare them in the same form. Whether you convert them both to fractions, or you convert them both to decimals, it doesn't matter as long as they're in the same form, okay? That's it for examples. Uh, please complete your QCs and your CYU, and we will go over this the next time I see you.